Hi everyone, so after clearing GR140 solo on my hardcore Twister wizard lately, I decided to make this little video showing how to improve the DPS on Twister. So there is one big trick that I assume most people either don't do or do wrong and I want to show you what to do to improve your damage. So basically what you can do is uh, a little bit like the console players where um, they cast Twisters while channeling I believe. Uh, you can do a little bit like similar things by using the auto-casted edge digital twisters that spawn once every second and in between those ticks you can cast more twisters to basically improve your dps tremendously so i can show you this with the fire rune here right now and i don't have the twisted sword so that we see you know no merging between the twisters we just see the exact amount of twisters that we spawn and uh, like this you can kind of like um, notice the difference so if I just hold down right click, you'll notice I will spawn around 5 twisters at a time. Here's 3, 4, 5, 6, and then they start despawning again. So this is about, about the, the maximum we can have. So 6 twisters, and uh, they last 6 seconds, and that's it. Now when you manually cast twisters, you will actually be able to do more twisters, just like that, if you weren't channeling at all. So if you just hold down left click in my case, it's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then it will start despawning here at like 9 twisters or so. You see there's a lot more already, because it makes sense. We get 1 twister a second, and we have 1.5 attacks per second by manually casting, so we get more twisters. The problem is you have death wish, and you have edge sigil, so you need to keep channeling. So now you can combine those two things. And uh, I basically hold down right click, and you see every time a twister spawns on my character, you have this uh, little like animation. It's like a little circle here. Every time I spawn a twister, I will get one of these. And for example, with the other runes, it looks similar. Here's a cold rune, for example. It has like this uh, little blue swirl. And the big problem is that the Wicked Wind, which is the rune that you use for pushing, has a very small animation. So you see, it has like this little cloud in front of you. But this is what you have to look at. You see, like this little white cloud that appears. So unfortunately, a very small animation and hard to see when you're like actually in a rift uh, compared to the other runes. But this is what you can use to see when the twister spawned. So if you go back to this fire rune now, you will be able to see that I spawn a lot more twisters by doing channeling and manual casts in between. And the goal is that every time you spawned an, an automatic twister from Edge Sigil, you will also do a cast right after manually. And like this you can uh, get a lot more twisters out, you can see now. And all of this was while keeping up my Ace Sigil and my Death Wish pretty much at all times. So they have a bit of the delay before they drop and uh, you have almost permanent uh, effects from your channeling bonuses. You can also see it, see it in a similar way when you do the twist sword and you get these stacks on the buff bar. So whenever you have a twister out, it will look like this. Uh, you have your one stack, two, three, four, five. And you see it takes exactly one convention rotation, like one element, four seconds to get five twisters out when you channel. So I'll show this at the start of fire convention. I will start channeling. One, two, three, four, five. You see, that was four seconds. You get one immediately when you start, and then once every second. So after four seconds, you have five twisters, which is the maximum for the twisted sword. And now watch what I can do when I do channeling and casting at the same time and see how fast I reach the five stacks. I'll start again on the start of the next convention. You see, it took barely over two seconds to reach the five twisters. And I wasn't even trying really hard, I was looking at the convention. I can try again. Yeah, again, two seconds. So you get a lot more twisters out at the same time. And obviously more twisters will mean more DPS. In this case, uh, you can stack up the twisters for six seconds. And uh, you can basically get pretty much amount, the double amount of twisters out. The big problem really is that you can't snapshot the wave of force that easily again and you also need to count how many twisters you have if you really want to optimize this. The big problem is that when you start channeling without doing a manual twister, you will not get your arrow damage, you will not get your icane power on crit 
and you will not really get uh, the snapshot from the Wave of Force Arcana tumor in the case you're using that skill, which is really huge for increasing your DPS and density. So all these bonuses will be lost when you get an edge sigil twister as the first twister in the rotation. So you need to do a manual cast and then you can start stacking into that manual twister and it will keep all the like manual effects like the area damage, uh, the procs and the, the damage buff here. Yeah? And then when you do the second big twister, so after stacking five twisters into one, because of the twisted sword you can have five at once, uh, you, you have to do another manual twister. So the first and the sixth twister have to be manual for this to work well. So this comes down a little bit to muscle memory, but you can also get used to it pretty fast, I believe. And there's two good ways of doing this. One is to do manual twister, channel manual, channel manual. Now we have five. And the next time you do a manual again will be in the next the sixth one that will spawn the next like set of you know stacked twisters. So again, manual, channel manual, channel manual, and then manual again. Channel manual, channel manual, manual. Channel manual, channel manual, manual. So every time I do that, like this one manual cast, it will be the new, like the, the next big twister that I start stacking. The other option is to do manual, channel, channel manual, channel manual. And now we have six twisters out and uh, we can basically just keep stacking into this, you know, whatever, not giving really any care for it. So now if you really want to optimize your DPS, you also have to include your wave of force arcane attunement here which uh, snapshots the 4% extra arcane damage for your next twister. And the way you do this, you wait for like mid of fire or like start of lightning, do this, and then this is three twisters, five, and then you do arcane attunement again, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then, yeah, basically the third rotation is already useless because arcane rotation will be over. But you can have two basically fully stacked twisters with 10 twisters out uh, doing your arcane rotation, and this will just melt stuff. I can show this again. So we start arcane attunement and then twister, channel twister, channel twister, arcane attunement, twister, channel twister, channel twister. And now we have 10 twisters here for the entirety of the arcane rotation. Obviously in real rift situations that is quite hard to do because first of all, you know, you have to deal with enemies, you have to dodge, you have to survive, you have to actually make sure that you can channel into the right spot because you know it might happen that you're off with your mouse a little bit and then you start a new twister stack here and this one is uh, it's an auto twister not a manual twister and this will not have your area damage this will not have the arcane attunement and all the stuff so you have to be really careful to be precise on your casting because if you're not then yeah those manual twisters do a lot more damage than the auto twisters we're talking about you know losing like half or like you know even like more damage like 70 80 percent or more that depends on you know the amount of density obviously and how much air damage you will gain and stuff, stuff like this and uh, well you want to make sure that you keep channeling into that one manual twister that you spawned at the start and obviously you know there's like cc there's uh, borders there's frozen there's knockback there's nightmarish so all this stuff makes it kind of difficult to actually do this properly but when you can just stand there and channel which is probably at least half the time, which is basically all the time on boss fights most of the time, and this is like a really dangerous one. Um, depends a little bit on your movement, of course. Uh, you can get so much more damage and you'll really see the effect when you melt stuff. The thing is that also, usually like during the start of your arcane rotation, you'll also get Oculus rings. So then it becomes really complicated when you have to like move around, teleport into an Oculus ring, and also, you know, make sure that you stack into the right twister at the same time, you know, after moving to a different spot. So this can be very tricky, but uh, it does pay off when you try this and, and do this properly. And in my case, you can see the result. I did a 140 and this was not even very hard for me. Uh, I used like 20 keys for this and uh, my rift was not that crazy. It was pretty good, but you know, my potential is definitely like another one or two tiers higher. And that would put me, you know, in rank one territory here on hardcore. Uh, competing with people that are literally 3,000 paragons above me, or 2,000 at least in that case. And here's another guy, you know, like everyone here is pretty high compared to me. And uh, well, the reason is that, you know, I do much more damage than them because I do these tricks here. And well, other people might not be doing them, um, or maybe at least not to that extent. So this is what I wanted to share here. And I hope that you, it helps. So in, in short summary, I can repeat this. Uh, basically, you need to start with a manual twister because this will give you air damage and the procs 
and uh, Arcane and Human. And then you need to make sure that your sixth twister is also a manual one. And you can do this in various ways. Just make sure that you count the twisters that you spawn. And you can see it with this little cloud that spawns in front of you when you channel. So it comes a little down to timing. Uh, you can also just kind of like muscle memory it. Like this is what I do most of the time in like at least dangerous situations in a rift. I try to just muscle memory it and kind of get into the rhythm. But uh, sometimes I also actually look at my character and see if I spawn a cloud and you know how well I do the timings because that can give you probably up to double damage or so if you do it well or at least close to I would say. The average gain for me is something like between 40 and 60% DPS and in some cases you get like the absolute dream where you have those two really big twisters out and you essentially get double DPS. Yeah. So this is what I wanted to show here. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.